Welcome to my lecture online. Here we're going to start a new series in the concept, Can You Believe It? And this time we're going to talk about the miracle of our existence. It doesn't matter what you believe and how we got here, no matter what the process was that put us here on this earth, it is essentially a miracle. The reason why it's a miracle is because it is so unlikely for life to be able to exist in this vast universe which essentially has all kinds of dangers, all kinds of very dangerous kind of things happening in it. And yet here we are, living on this small little earth, it's only 8,000 miles across, and when you compare it to the vast size of the universe, it's just a tiny little spot, but it's a very special little spot, and somehow we're protected from an onslaught of things that could destroy all life on earth. Any one of these could be responsible for destroying us if we weren't somehow protected from it. Let alone, how did we even get to be here in the first place? How did life start? Which is still a big mystery. So let's take a look at some of these things that are so harmful to us and yet we're protected from it. Well, first of all, there are meteor impacts. And we know that in the past there's been events where large meteors, sometimes as much as 10 miles across, would come and impact on the Earth. And then they, it pretty well destroyed all life on Earth. And very little, very small amounts of the life survived those events. Those are the mass extinctions. We have the number of those. But yet we kept surviving that. And here we are. We have the onslaught of gamma rays and x-rays. These are very high energy rays. And of course, if we're exposed to them for a length of time, they would simply kill us. Yet somehow we're protected from these. We're also protected from UV rays, UVA, UVB, and UVC, the various types of UV radiation, which again, if nothing was protecting us from those, we would be killed. We have common impacts. As recent as 1908, we had a huge impact in, a, in Siberia, near a town of Tunguska, and it flattened thousands of square miles of forest. Simply, the trees were just bent over like little toothpicks, and the explosion was heard well over a thousand miles away. It was just an object that perhaps was about 50 meters across, about half the size of a football field, and yet it could have tremendous consequences. We have cosmic rays that are constantly raining down on us from space, and we have what we call the solar wind, the particles coming from the sun that again, if we weren't protected from it, would probably wipe out all life on Earth. We sometimes have massive events on the sun such as coronal, coronal mass ejections, which sends a vast number of these particles. Sometimes these are powerful enough to knock out satellites that are in orbit around the Earth. And then we have the tremendous heat on the side of the sun and the tremendous cold on the side of space. The moon has high temperatures of 120 degrees Celsius in the, in the daytime and minus 130 degrees Celsius at night. Of course, these numbers vary depending upon which measurements were taken, but that's the ballpark. And so you can see that if we had those kind of temperature changes on the Earth, again, life would not be possible. We couldn't survive these kind of temperatures. No life could. So somehow we're protected from all that. And then don't forget that in deep space, temperatures go down to about minus 455 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 270 degrees Celsius, which is just a few degrees above absolute zero. And again, we are protected from that because of where we are in the vicinity of our star, the sun. So there's a lot of reasons to, to realize that just the fact that we're alive on this small old planet Earth with pretty nice conditions, I must say, in this vast ocean of space with all these dangers around us, it is a miracle in itself. How we got here is a miracle, no matter what you believe in how we got here. And we're now going to, to start looking at the various aspects of how we're actually existing on this planet. What is it that makes us able to live on this planet where many other places would completely be out of the question? There's no way we could move to Venus and live there or to Mars and, move, and live there. Of course, we could potentially build space stations on Mars and uh, perhaps live there for a little while in very protected environment, but obviously we couldn't go outside and start tilling the land and start growing things there because that would be absolutely impossible on Mars. Somehow, the Earth is different very unique, and just the fact that we're here with this very unique Earth is nothing short of a miracle. And we're going to explore that in many ways. And you'll see 
There's many things where you'll say, can you believe that? 